In 2012, governments unanimously, acting together with employers and workers' representatives within the International Labour Organization, adopted recommendation number 202 on national social protection clause. And in this important recommendation, governments pledged to guarantee to all individuals, women, men and children, throughout their lives, basic income security. This pledge was reiterated in 2015 when the Sustainable Development Goals were adopted, and now is the time to deliver. We need to make this vision a reality to provide low-income countries with the support that they require in order to move towards social protection flaws for all. And we need to do this by a new international financing mechanism, the Global Fund for Social Protection. This fund would fulfill two essential functions. First, it would make up for the shortfall in funding that today poor countries still experience. Many poor countries are not able to mobilize sufficient domestic resources to provide for the needs of all their population. Yet, this is affordable. Even after the COVID-19 crisis, it would take no more than $78 billion to make up for the financing gap for all low-income countries. Now, this may sound like a lot, but it is in fact a, a small fraction of the money that is spent today on economic recovery plans to speed up the economic reconstruction after the COVID-19 crisis. And $78 billion is barely more than 50% of the total official development assistance already provided by rich countries to poor countries. In fact, this sum represents 0.15% of the total wealth created each year by rich countries. The Global Fund for Social Protection would not only make up for this shortfall, it would also provide poor countries with an insurance that in times of crisis, they shall be supported. Many poor countries are small and have a poorly diversified economy, and they may be experiencing shocks, economic shocks, a loss of export revenues, a sudden increase of import bills, climatic shocks, droughts and floods, or indeed epidemics as we've seen most recently. And these countries may be wary about committing to provide their populations with the support they need in the form of standing rights-based social protection floors that people may claim as entitlements. So we need to support these countries by providing them the ability to be insured in times of crisis to make sure that the social protection floors they establish shall be affordable even in times of crisis. There is nothing more powerful than an idea whose time has come, and I strongly believe that that is the case for the Global Fund for Social Protection.